Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, it's Mick the Beard again at Bloodstock, and I am with Evil Scarecrow. Well done, you got a name right this time, Mick. Yeah, yeah Mick. Hello, I'm Dr. Hell. I do shouting, guitars, dancing. Uh, that's it. Hello, I'm Brother Payne. I do high fives, uh, crowd surfing if I'm allowed to, and your guitar. Guitars? Yes, yes, guitars, yes, yes, guitars yeah. I am Ringmaster Monty Blitzfist, and I do banging and crashing. Banging and crashing. And flute. Well, some kind of... <laughs> He's the driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took us ages to get here. <laughs> it's only four or five minutes. What was? Not if you're banging and oh, crashing. Yeah. That's, that's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys have sort of. Progress from the main stage to the Sofa Lancaster tent. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I mean that's what we demanded. Uh, we were very strict with what we wanted this year. Yeah. Uh, we said, we said, fuck you, Bloodstock. You'll give us, <laughs> you'll give us what we want. So we demanded the headline 120 slot on the Sofa Lancaster stage, and they, they didn't want to give it to us. But what choice did they have? We'd, we'd already. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. <laughs> As far as I can get, uh, yes. Someone pulled out. Well, I, well, if you look at it, we, when we did uh, main stage three years ago, it was on the back of uh, like kind of a uh, user vote thing, wasn't yes, it? We did a video. Uh, this year, we're here on our own merits, and uh, we, you know, we want to thank Bloodstock for having us back um, and giving us this opportunity because it was amazing. And uh, wow. Fabulous. Work. What the hell happened it there? Was a great we were, turnout. Yeah, we were convinced there were thunderstorms outside or something. <laughs> or, or the, oh, who's this? Yeah. yeah. Has, what's happened? Has the main stage got fire and everyone's had to please gather at the Sophie tent? <laughs> we had no idea. We were we were blown away, and uh, we we want to thank everyone for coming and checking us out because uh, we we well, didn't we know we, we know there was no point in being there, doing it, is there? No one came to watch us. We'd have been stood there by ourselves, looking yeah. very daft looking indeed. So. Uh, it was great to have, I don't know how many people there, there were at least, there were at least 30, I can't count very high, but uh, 30, 40 people, 40, 50. there were 5 million people there, <laughs> yeah. and uh, they were looking as silly as us, so thank you, uh, fucking, thank you guys, wow. Five. What a lot of people. for me was getting off stage and uh, as well me going oh shit hell we're on at the same time and we got here and the guys from hell were here and we we're going oh we're really upset because we missed you guys. I was like, what? <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> they were going yeah we were told to go watch Evil Scarecrow and he was like oh how am I meant to do that? I'm on the same time as them. <sighs> they, they mistook us for immortal I yeah, reckon. They so, they? I know you guys. Like, hey, yeah. I thought it was 1349 I walked into the wrong place. I well <laughs> easy to do, easy to do, Mick. Easy to do, Mick the Beard. <laughs> do we call you Mick the Beard? Is it rude just to call you Mick or the Beard? I mean, what do we use? What's our title? I'm going to turn into the interview here. So we're here with we're here with <laughs> we're here with Mick the Beard. It's Evil Scarecrow. You know us very well. So uh, so Mick, uh, this beard you've got. Yeah. Uh, how long did it take to grow? Oh, <laughs> about four years. About four years. And do you keep anything in it? Uh, sometimes a little mouse. <laughs> a little mouse. That's yeah. Does it have a name? Yeah, Frida. <laughs> Frida the mouse. I'm sorry, normally our guests are much better than this. And uh, if you grew your hair on the top of your head, would it be purple? No, I'm afraid not. I'll be a... And what sort of hairline have you got when you do grey hair? Is it, is it, has it gone? Is that why you grew it? Have you got a skullet? <laughs> no. Well, I'm thinking uh, when my hairline goes, because I'm getting on now, I'm going to have to grow an amusing beard. Yeah. Would you be pissed off if I grew a similar beard? Not at all. It just can't you're, quite happy, you're quite happy. You're quite happy. A bit like a club. Yeah, like a club. Purple beard. We could start our own club. Can we yeah. talk about my beard for a bit now, please? Yeah, let's talk about. Yes. It. Why not? It's, it's come this way. Holy. Come this way. Come <laughs> with me. Come with me. We're going to meet Brother Payne now and talk to Brother Payne about his beard. Now then, Brother Payne, uh, there's a certain famous man who has a similar beard to the beard that you're oh, wearing yeah, at the moment. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's been copying you all this time. Have you got anything to say from uh, that bastard Lemmy from Motorhead for copying your beard? <laughs> Lemmy, if I see you again with that beard, I'm just going to have to kick your head in because, I mean, I had that wart removed and you still got that. Uh, that's fair enough, but the beard, why is he just copying me? You've been, to you've been told, Lemmy, no more of this shit. Come on, get your own identity. Your own leave, beard. leave Brother Payne alone. Yeah, leave me so, alone. Anyway, back to our Santa, guest, yeah. back to our guest, Mick the Beard. Uh, so, uh, how old were you when you lost your virginity? <laughs> <laughs> 21. 21, that's old. That's shit. If you'd been at school, I'd have well took the piss out of you for that. <laughs> We'd have been dancing around you, calling you a virgin. I I'd want to do it now, anyway, really. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was you lying. To oh, oh, you were lying? Yeah. How old were you, really? 31. 31. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can we say to that? What about, hang on, we're going to talk to the camera. 
How old are you when you lost your virginity? Don't say you're still a virgin. You've got that dirty look, I can tell. I'm still a virgin. You're one away! It's not your daughter, is it, Mick? Yes, it is. Shit! Oh, <laughs> it's gonna, uh... Oh! Unfortunately, it's <laughs> oh, no, it is. Dr. Hell from being beaten up by can we, the beard. Can we, can we put this on the edit suite and I can sort this out? She's laughing! She's, yeah, she's, she's, yeah, she's laughing! No, we'll, we'll distract it, it's fine. We'll go over here, we'll go over here. How old were you when you lost your virginity? You're not mixed daughter as well, are you? <laughs> I'm mixed wife. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Shit! No. Is anybody here not related no. to Mick? She lied! She lied! <laughs> she, she lied. Oh, you were good! Except you were good! Like you were good. I bet you've met a lot of men very happy with that sort of lie. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. Yeah. If my manager's here, she would be kicking me in she's the She's there place. and she's yeah. gone oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, back to Mick. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say now. What, what I say? <laughs> shall, we, shall we try and get a bit serious about music oh, and shit? Oh, shit. Oh, it's a serious interview? No, no. It's not serious. Oh, right. But we ought to mention albums. Albums? Albums. albums. Yeah. The newest one. The latest one. What's it gonna be, what are we going to call it? Uh, Give it a name now. What about the latest album? The latest album by the Scary Scarecrows. The Evil Scarecrows. Uh, Matt, Matt and the Scary Scarecrows. That's what we call ourselves, yeah. We call it the latest album. Uh, why not? That's good. Yeah, we're working on a new Last album. We haven't... We haven't... Shut up. I'm talking. How many songs have we got? Uh, I don't know, like some. Can we uh, like to mention the names of them yet? No, only one. Okay. We've got one song off our new album that we're going to be playing at our Damage. gig at Damage Stock on the 3rd of September at Rock City called Book of Doom. It's probably, it might be the only time we play it before we release the album, we're not sure yet. So once we've done that, once we've done uh, Damage Stock and MFN Festival, we're probably going to get back into the studio, get all the songs we've written down in decent form, release an album next year sometime. But work in progress. That was, that, that was quite sensible, that wasn't was it? Very... I feel like I should follow that with some sort of fart or burp or sick. <laughs> I don't really know. I just pooped myself. <laughs> yeah, th there you go. Just did a Perkins. Yeah, did a Perkins. Well, you guys did a really good radio ident for me last time I met you. I was. So really I'm, brilliant I'm actually wanting you on the show sometime on Bloodstock Radio. Oh, we'd love to do that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can it be a naked uh, broadcast? <laughs> have you got purple chest hair? I bet you have. <laughs> and we've lost it. <laughs> got rude again. No, I haven't got purple chest hair. If you're a lady, would you squirt out purple milk? <laughs> Place to end it? I don't think we can top that. Purple, top milk. That, no. purple milk. Purple. Maybe our album should be called Purple, purple Milk. milk. Yeah. It is a bit weird. It is a bit weird. Yeah. You've heard it first. <laughs> I'll forget your name tomorrow after I'm drunk and I go, oh, it was that geezer. We had a really good interview. Oh, the dude Someone, with the purple milk. Yeah. <laughs> Someone on the beard <laughs> with his lactating. The with the milk. With his lactating. Milky beard. Milky tits. <laughs> Milky beard. <laughs> Sim. We're here with Milky tits. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this interview's getting in yeah, nowhere. We, yeah, you, you've <laughs> you've yeah, got us on form today, mate. <laughs> We're bad, mate. <laughs> hey, don't get edited, so I can say what you want. Oh, oh, shit. The, only thing, the only thing you can't say is cunt. Oh, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I tried not to say it, but I couldn't oh. help it. Someone wrote Buddhist Open Air 2011, cunt and a penis in there. That's okay. a if we did a, the photography right, we could lift up your thing. Hang on, look. He's got his gig pants on. If we did the photography right, you could, one, two, three. Hang on, get that in there. Four there. Four. Have you got all that in shot? It's worth, definitely worth looking at, that is. <laughs> Cocks, I don't know. There's nothing clever to say after that, is there, really? No, it's not very, no, very witty. <laughs> Four cocks of it? the apocalypse. Four cocks of the apocalypse. That's a good title for an album. That's it. Yeah, it yeah. Four cocks of the apocalypse. Pur like purple this is good. Cocks. If anyone's got any suggestions for a good title for us as well, that'd help. Really, the, the more work that can be done by you and your listeners, the better, really. Yeah. Send, you know, send in any album suggestions yeah, to the yeah, Facebook. Send in the guitar tracks. Just full, yeah, right? full recordings would be yeah, great, yeah. really. Uh, just, you, yeah, could, just, you could play the drums. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe if we, if we just get... We could just get loads of bands out of there, just send us their tracks in, stick them on an album, say it was us, it's and the jobs are good. So we're really intrigued about the new stuff you've been writing. I could just send that over. We'd love to have a listen. Yeah. Label it Evil Scarecrow, send it out. Yeah, exactly, out. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another album done. Done, finished. Yeah, millionaires. <laughs>
at least now every week. Billionaires. Not quite <laughs> as swift as that. Trillionaires. Tr Trillion billion googling. Oh. Yes. Right. Anyway, we'll do we'll do the rock bit, rock bit, rock star bit now. Yeah. Okay. A message to the fans. Oh right. Okay. Uh, hello, fans. Drugs. Oh. Yeah, don't do anything wrong yeah. or naughty, and please, 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 don't steal microphones of people that are interviewing you, and then say something completely inappropriate to the door and the pretend wife. <laughs> <laughs> pretend we wife. You, She's pretend good. Wife. <laughs> <laughs> we like her. That was my message. Oh, you and can, uh, she can come on tour and life her as professional. If you could please buy some T-shirts because oh, we're yeah. so poor. CDs, kettles, uh, Evil Scarecrow bedrooms. We've we've got a whole range of furniture. We're coming out for the latest album. Uh, I've, I've run out of stuff to say, Mick. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, we love you all. Thank you so yeah. much for checking Thank us out. You, you were great. Sort of Fantastic. Uh, but really, really buy our stuff, because, yeah. I mean, I've got to go home in this. I go to work dressed like this. My mum made it in my costume nine that years ago. True. That is you true. Should, you should come in a Sainsbury's and see me stacking shelves dressed like this. It's not on. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it isn't. It isn't. See me there, yeah. weeping, stacking beans. I'm a milkman. I only deliver purple milk, though. <laughs> <laughs> He brought it back. <laughs> I brought it right back. And therefore, the joke lied, and that's where the essence of humour is, to repeat something earlier said. Yeah, well done. In, uh, At the peak of the interview. Yeah. See, we could say something about bras now, but that was an earlier Don't interview. Say bra. Oh. Bra's dirty. I think, we, I think we're done. Were you really 21? No, was I Was she not? <laughs> Was she hot? Was, it was she hot? Oh, no, don't do that. Meet <laughs> <laughs> the beard. Give us a big snog look. Tongues and everything. <laughs> oh, oh, Cheers, great. guys. Thanks, bye. See you soon. Thanks. Bye. 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 B